Welcome to episode 192 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I'll be your host. And today we're going to talk about what it makes to be an official troublemaker. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. So if you've been seeing on my social media this, this event that we're putting on, and it's called Here's to the Troublemakers, and it's for primarily the auto industry, but we're talking a lot about trouble, right? Here's the card, if you can see it. Oh, there you go, there's that autofocus, kind of. So we made a deck of custom troublemaking trading cards, and these are people in the industry that I think are making some trouble. We got official troublemaker wristbands, we have custom drink tickets and all that stuff. But this is all to make a point of what it means to be a troublemaker. I'm gonna read a quote from my good friend, Darren Doan, who's also gonna be producing the event. So you're gonna see amazing content coming out of that. But here's something he posted as he was being thoughtful about what it is to be a real troublemaker. And let me define that because if you know me, you know I actually don't like to get in trouble. That's not my personality at all, but real trouble. Here's what Darren said. Darren said, troublemaking starts with knowing what real trouble is. He said, there's a difference between actual no trespassing signs and the imagined ones. Troublemakers assume innocent while the peanut gallery screams guilty when venturing into new land. Darren, I've, I've come up with a new term for you and it is punk rock philosopher. I'm gonna make that, put that on a t-shirt and send it to you because Darren is a punk rock philosopher. But this concept of troublemaking, when I say it, when I make events that surround it, I don't mean, like Darren said, like what a real, I don't wanna cross a real no trespassing sign. And in business, that's like breaking the law, right? Breaking enforced regulations, all this stuff, right? I'm not advocating for that, but I'm advocating for breaking the imagined no trespassing signs. The ones that aren't really there, but they have a stake in the ground because that's the way we've always done it the things that any great entrepreneur or great innovation is seated in. Those are the things where the troublemakers win because every, every amazing invention, every amazing innovation, the fact that you are watching this on digital media through a digital camera that takes digital photographs make big time trouble when they were first introduced because they shook up the system. The people who have an established system right? And I'm talking mostly about the old guard. That's not necessarily an age comment, but more frequently than not, it is an age comment. Like the old guard, their job now is like, they've done their hustle. They've done their innovation and their vested interest is now into protecting and preserving the way that it was. Their vested interest is to protect and preserve the way that it was, which means the innovators could now be standing in the way of innovation. And so those who come along and say, nah, I don't think that's the best way. Actually, I think I have a better way. And as I look at the situation with fresh eyes without a vested interest and in it's staying the way that it is, I'm gonna suggest something that's gonna disrupt your vested interest. And then you have innovation come to the stage. Like we're talking about, like I just mentioned digital photography, right? Kodak was the jam, Kodak, actually Kodak is, Eastman Kodak Company is only about uh, 80 miles to my west right now in Rochester, New York. And when you go to Rochester, you see all these old buildings. Some of them have been torn down, but you see the legacy of what was an amazing, thriving company. They made film, right? They made film, they made film not only for cameras, but they made film for like x-rays and all kinds of paper. And that was their business. They were in the paper business, they were in the film business, they weren't in the camera or photography business. Although most people did associate Kat, uh, Kodak with photography. And what happened is they developed the digital photography technology. A troublemaker from within the organization said, look at this, look at this. Now we don't need the film, now it can be digital. And they were like, you shut up, and we're gonna take this thing and we're gonna lock it away so no one ever finds it because it just threatened their vested interest. And what happened was they tried to hide it and then the technology was developed elsewhere and now they were no longer the leader. They could have been the leader of digital photography. So then uh, if you follow what happened to Kodak, so Kodak way back down to the bottom, 
bankruptcy. Um, you know, they a few years ago they introduced a cryptocurrency called Kodak Coin, Kodak Coin, and uh, can't find it now. But they were like, hey, we are going to develop this cryptocurrency into a way for photographers and imagery to be licensed and people to get their proper royalties, right? Great innovation. Their stock went way up. And guess what? They were just fronting. They were just posing that they were troublemakers, but they weren't. And so this principle of troublemaking, not breaking the law, but disrupting the norms for the betterment of other people, for the betterment of innovation and business and technology and progress, that is what entrepreneurs do. That is what servants do, right? They don't try to preserve and protect like technology. They try to say, how can we make it better? How can we make it better? Our country was founded by troublemakers, right? Saying that, so it's really no wonder that this is in our DNA. Our country was founded by troublemakers. Saying like, actually, that's not the way it should be. And you know, it's funny, I'm not to get into a history lesson here, but the US really didn't want to the United States founders did not want to take all British way of life out of their life. They didn't want to do that. They were like, we can make it better. We want to improve upon it. And that's a conversation for another day. But here we are many, many years, centuries later, and we're still saying like, there's innovation and there's growth because we as humans are hardwired to create. And this is really just another expression of creation is troublemaking. And this week, it comes in the form of trading cards and bracelets and getting together with amazing people like Darren Doan and Dave Meltzer and all my friends. So I hope this episode encourages you to look for the things in your life. Look for those no trespassing signs that are just a mirage, that are just in your head, that are just the old guard protecting and preserving the technology and the business models and the things that were in place and say, you know what? That's actually not a no trespassing sign. That's in my head. I can do better. I can make it better. I can improve the lives of others. And for those who want to come with me, let's go. For those who don't, that's fine. You can stand at the side. You can stick to the way it was because let's face it, a lot of times the way that it was, you can write out a pretty successful career on the way that it was for quite some time. It depends on the industry, but quite some time. And depending on where you are in your career, you know what? You might be like, I'm spent. I'm out. And that's cool too. But at least you have the clarity and the perspective of where you are in the map, which is really my whole hope and my whole trajectory behind the show. I will say, if you ever want to talk about this, if you ever have thoughts about this, please reach out to me. Uh, I spend most time on LinkedIn. So if you're on LinkedIn, if you're not on LinkedIn, you should be. There's, there's a game there. There's a game there. When Facebook went down a couple of weeks ago, the, some more of the game moved to LinkedIn. So be on LinkedIn. Uh, search me out, Paul J. Daly. I answer all my DMs. And uh, hey, maybe we can make a little trouble together. But until then, I will see you next week. We came to fight.